Well, a St. Paul police officer faced charges for killing a 65-year-old man. That is now up to the Minnesota Attorney General and the Ramsey County Attorney. They are reviewing the case that ended in the death of Yia Zhang, who police say was armed with a knife. David Schumann has the details. Yia Zhang's death sparked protests, calling for the St. Paul officer who shot him to be criminally charged. Now that decision is up to Ramsey County Attorney John Choi and the state's top prosecutor, Attorney General Keith Ellison. Zhang's family says someone in his apartment building threatened him in February with a gun, to which Zhang responded with a knife. Body camera video shows officers confronting Zhang, then shooting him as he held that knife. He didn't speak English. Uh, he was an elderly person. Um, he went back into his apartment, so the police had time to de-escalate the situation. He should still be alive today. In asking Ellison to help review the case, Choi said the AG, quote, adds a layer of trust and confidence to our process. Some activists think Ellison's involvement may mean charges are more likely, given his prosecutions of former cops Derek Chauvin and Kim Potter. But in 2021, Ellison chose not to charge in the St. Paul police killing of Joseph Washington. It's unclear how Choi and Ellison will split the decision in Zhang's killing. John Choi is a very intelligent, witty, accomplished prosecutor who could do the right thing on his own in this case. In St. Paul, David Schumann, WCCO News. The president of the St. Paul Police Union has said that the officers acted heroically in the face of grave danger. Choi says a charging decision could come in a few weeks.